We're going to edit the gradebook now. And I have a couple grades in here that I've already entered. The first thing we're going to do is turn editing on. We're going to directly edit grades here. Now I want to warn you, if you edit a grade here, it's called an override. So you won't be able to edit it in a different way later, you, except you can come back here and edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and override this to an 80. I can type in any other grades I want here, but again, I don't really recommend doing this because these are called overridden grades. Uh, you can click on any of these individually. I'll open this in a new tab. I really recommend, oh, that's not a good example. I'll just type in a grade here. I want to get a couple grades in here because, oh, these are regular assignments, great. Okay, so you can click on any regular assignment you've set up and you can view all submissions, grade on one page, or you can grade one at a time. It's in a separate video how to grade in those manners. I recommend doing that, but just for now, I'm just gonna type in some grades quickly. All right, that's good enough. Get some quiz grades. You hit the tab key to go between uh, the rows without having to use your mouse all the time. Do not, I strongly recommend you never type a grade into the total column because that really should be the total of all the tests, the total of all the forums here. You should not be typing numbers in here. Same thing with the homework total. We're gonna reorganize this gradebook significantly later. So you hit save changes, should save everything you did. Now the overridden grades, you can see they're this kind of yellow color here, meaning that if I go into homework three and view all submissions, one of these, let's see, they were all overridden right here. Homework three, you can see all the first three are overridden. So what that means is you can't actually type in a grade because it's overridden elsewhere. So you can't actually modify the grade here. You can come back to your gradebook view and override homework three grade in here. If you no longer want to have homework three grade overridden, there's a few ways to do it. You can click this gear here. Nope. There we go. So what I clicked on was a little pencil. That's the single view grade for the home assignment homework three. Here, the check boxes determine if the grade was overridden or not. You can, of course, uh, if you unoverride the grade, uh, these numbers will basically disappear. Hit save, continue. Again, we're looking for homework three. So I'll just refresh. Nope. I better hit grade. Sometimes if you refresh, it might resubmit a change you were making. So we're going to look at the grader report again. And I'm going to look at homework three. So that removed those grades. And now I can enter them any way I want, either the overridden version, or you can click homework three and then grade individually the way I've shown you before.